All right, boys, we're headed to Vegas. We're gonna do another bit of a shit show pod. I wanna let you guys know that we dropped our Full Send supplements a few weeks ago. It is the cleanest, all natural products. I'm bringing these two to Vegas. When we're going on benders, bro, you gotta keep the immune system strong. So we got the Full Send immunity booster here. And then also this one's fucking key, the liver reset. Keeps the liver strong, keeps the liver healthy. Supplements.co, we got a ton of other supplements on there. Try them out, I promise you guys try them. You will not regret it. They're very, very good. We take them every day, all the boys, me, Steve, Celine. But yeah, let's get into the pod. We're headed to Vegas. Let's go. Welcome to another interesting episode of the pod. We're gonna kind of do it like the, the Logan Paul episode. But yeah, we got Sugar Sean coming through, the UFC ring girls, Max Crosby, Liver King, and who knows who else. We're gonna fucking go into AU Day Club. Go. Drop a thumbs up and drop a comment if you guys like this style of the pod where we just kind of have fun. Also, every pod from now on, we're gonna be giving away $5,000 an episode because I've been fucking running it up on stake. So all you gotta do every week is drop a thumbs up and then DM me proof at Kyle. DM me on Instagram. Just send me like a photo or a screenshot that you'd like the video. And then at the beginning of every pod, we're gonna just go through my phone, like scroll, boom, land on one person, 5K. Every week we'll do it. We'll do it at the beginning of the next pod. Easy 5,000, it's just random. Could be you at once a week, just try. If you're listening to this on audio, probably go to fucking YouTube and watch it because I think this is gonna be more of a visual episode, All right? There's fucking tunes cranking in the background. We're at IU Day Club. We're at a day club, buddy. Last night, we were literally right here. There's two sections. No, we were in that section. No, wait. We, we had this three tables right here last we night. We were literally, yeah, we were right there last night in this club. Where are OG? Where are you at last night? Two full send MMA journalist, the OG here. What's up, guys? Um, we're going to have him sit in for a little welcome bit. Welcome in, welcome too, in. Cause, so basically, what, what we're doing too is we launched. Uh, we launched officially our MMA channel on YouTube. It's going to be our first journalist for full send MMA. So you're going to get to go to all Let's the fights. Go. And we're going to cover combat sp uh, combat sports as a whole, too. So it'll be pretty cool. Some boxing sick. fights. How's it been? What a Crazy? World, what a world. The news? Oh, you all over there. It's fucking everywhere. Were you bro. going to square up or no? The fuck am I going to do? Fight Nate Diaz? <laughs> no. You might have to. So what had happened was he had a training partner, Nick Maximov, who's like, he's got a training partner, like a homeboy who's named Nick Maximov, who now fights in the UFC. And uh, <laughs> there was a thing going on about Nate Diaz possibly fighting Hamza Chemaev. And there was also a video that TMZ had posted. And Nate Diaz is like, they're, they're like, yo, when are you going to fight Hamza? And he's like, he's like, fuck that. He's like, fight my boy over here. And it just awkwardly pans the camera to Nick Maximov like he wasn't expecting it. And he's like, yeah, man. So I had made, I had made a meme about it. And I took the song where like the song that goes, oh, no, oh, no. So when the camera panned to Nick Maximov, I played that and I zoomed in on Nick Maximov's face. So that was the first one. And then the second one, in his last fight, he got tapped out. He got tapped out in the first round. Who did round. Nate fight in his last fight? No, it was uh, Nick Maximov. Oh, okay. He got tapped out in the first round of his, of his next fight. And naturally, OG being OG, he was <laughs> a bit harsh on him. So I, I screenshotted a picture of Nick Maximov. Uh, obviously slept in the cage and I put the Nate Diaz quote. I put, yo, uh, Nick Maxima or uh, Hamza Chimaev, come fight my boy right here as he's Fuck. sitting there <laughs> slept. So you know what? Yeah, fucking right. I probably deserved it. Did but it hurt? The thing is, is he, he, he just knocked your hat off, right? The thing is, no, he just gave us some free advertising is what he did. He uh, perfectly hit the full send. He perfectly hit the hat off my head. True. He could have fucked me if up the, if, if there's one to. guy to get slapped by, it's Nate Diaz, you know? Stockton slap. Yeah, honestly, baby. that's kind of dumb. Like, imagine getting slapped by like Henry Cejudo or some shit. Yeah, like, at least like, it was uh, like you got slapped by Nate Diaz. Bro, yeah, that's lit. Yeah, when the camera the camera cuts off, he shoves me, and then I was as I was looking at him, he did the signature Nate Diaz. He was like, he was like this. Oh my like, god, bro! To fucking square up with me, and I'm like, fuck, I'm about to get my ass. Fuck Gilbert that. Melendez was there. Jake Shields was there. Like all these guys could have whooped my fucking. What were they ass saying? They fuck to. that. They didn't bro. say anything. I don't what? think anybody really knew because imagine Nate so Diaz squaring up. The video everybody's commenting they're like after this the UFC sorry I cannot say that but everybody's commenting they're like after this happened no nobody even saw that happening nobody even react like on the background people like are watching that shit like what happened after that honestly nothing like we just kind of <laughs> Nate went his way I went my way and then we were about to go and try and get more interviews 
And then one of the UFC people came up and they're like, yeah, you guys got to go, man. Yeah, we got surrounded by security. Yeah. Even us in there. They yeah, were they, like, they came to us and they're like, yo, they, they almost kicked out Sean because he was with you guys the whole weekend. He was filming for Nelk. They almost kicked out Sugar Sean? No, Sean oh. Haney. Oh, shit. And they snipped his wristband. Yeah, bro. And they're like, we, yo, you, like, I was like, nah, like, I gotta, we got to film for Nelk, too. I mean, so I was like, bro, remember when Nate Diaz was walking through and he like scared the fan and the fan, like, yeah, 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 dude, yeah. Nate Diaz goes to UFC, he does what he wants, bro. Right, when he walks yeah. around, they let him do whatever the fuck he yeah. wants because he's a badass. But I mean, that's how that's how I think you know you're doing something right, right? Yeah, I mean, it 100%. is your job as a journalist. Like the athletes aren't gonna like everything you say, right? Mm -hmm. Too. Well, listen, but. like this is a story I want to tell you guys because like there's a a journalist named Jim Rome who works for CBS. Now, yeah, of and course. He's like, yeah, Jim Rome, Rome is burning, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So his career started by him chirping an NFL quarterback named Jim Everett. What he did was he kept calling him Chris Everett. And Chris Everett was a female tennis star. So Jim Everett came on Jim Rome's show one day, and uh, he's like, hey, guys, I'm here with uh, Jim Everett. And he goes, check that, Chris Everett, how you doing? And Jim Everett looks at him and goes, call me Chris one more time, bro, I and see that. what happens. Yeah. And anyways, he's like, I will, Chris. And the guy gets up, flips the table, and starts like, punching jim rome and jim rome is now one of the most famous guys in yeah CBS but that like sports. you you you're provoking somebody like you like you're asking for, for, sure. for something to happen yeah that was but i guess case it, i guess in diaz's defense too though like he's just the type of guy that's like yo yeah. if you talk shit about me or my 100%. people i'm gonna fucking do yeah. something about I respect it, which, that. which is like you can't really say he can't do that too sure. right there's certain guys in the ufc that like you well don't that's what i'm saying with, bro like, like but you tripped them all obviously one of them Nate fuck diaz, that one of them so i mean it was gonna happen one day but i'm here to Tell the story. What'd yeah. you think of the fights? It's kind of disappointing card, right? Yeah. Izzy's Izzy's boring, bro. Bro, he, he he does what he has to do to win. I know. Which I but guess that's is, respectable. It's like a it's Mayweather smart, thing. Yeah, it's smart for him, but it's also like that fight was so boring. Like it was really. Yeah, yesterday really was, I was the yawning, cards were not. Was yeah, everybody was, was like, "What's going on?" It's kind of a letdown. After sugar, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But, and then the sugar thing. What'd you think of that? I mean. We could bring Sugar here, and I could make a meme of him, and I'd probably give him a better fight than Pedro did last night, bro. <laughs> really? I thought Pedro kind of came out strong. Oh, he did. Kicks but I shit. mean, do you guys really think he got an eye poke? I didn't really get a good look know, at it, man. honestly. We were talking but... yesterday about it, there, right? And like everybody was kind of like, "What do you think about it?" You know what? I I had originally looked at it, and I was like, "Fuck, maybe he wanted a way out." But then I saw a tweet today, and they said, "Do you think Pedro Munoz would really take the coward's way out because like his last?" Four losses are all to UFC champions. So I'm like, I can't knock the guy. A guy's well, never guy's never been finished. Let me ask either. you something. If if you're losing a fight in your head and you have a chance to take a no contest, you'll probably take the no contest, right? But it's not like it's not like he was losing. You thought he was winning? He was close. Yeah, it was pretty right? close, I, think, I guess. I don't know. I, I think Sugar was winning, but it wasn't like extremely decisive. Sure. But I think he was still winning. You guys don't think so? Bro, I'm going to be honest. Shug he landed some leg kicks, but... Shug usually comes out swinging, like, yeah. more. Yeah. Like, he was very, like, composed and, like, patient. But it was too patient. I think he really thought about that fight. Because even in the interview, I kept bringing it up. I was trying to get it out of him to say, you know what? I'm going to knock this fucking guy out. But he kept bringing up the fact that, hey, you know what? I'm prepared to go 15 minutes. So that tells me that he had really fucking prepared for this fight. You know what I mean? That's interesting, yeah. But I think it's still kind of like... I think his stock still went up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, a guy like that too. If you're, if you're like a star, that. you kind of just gotta, yeah, like a Mayweather, right? Like you're just, you're kind of just looking to win every fight, and your stock's always gonna go up unless you, like, really decisively lose, right? Yeah. So Should what's I? next, OG? What's next, bro? We got, I think, Dos Anjos and Fiziev next weekend. Um, nice. I know Ortega, and I think Yair Rodriguez in New York. We definitely gotta hit London. London's gonna be fucking insane. When's that? Uh, I think it's two or three weeks from now. That's going to be Tom Aspinall and Curtis Blades. Darren Till is going to be on that card. Patty? Patty the Batty is going to be on there. Molly McCann. And nobody does it like the fucking fans in the UK, man. Crazy, Have right? you gone to a fight there? Never. Have um, you? No, I haven't. But um, what was I going to say? Paris? I was going to say, did, did uh, any media outlets hit you up to like talk about what happened? Oh, bro. We were literally in the back after they had cut our wristbands, and we had everybody coming to our table that was in media. Did you guys do any interviews? Did anyone DM you for interviews? Wait, there's just been people trying like, to find out. It's good all publicity for you, yeah, bro. People you should, you should do it, though, day. if they hit you up, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So that was pretty crazy, bro. No, that, that was crazy, already man. had 100,000 views. I was, I was in so was shocked in my, my, my chair night. watching that shit. I was like, what the fuck is going not, on? I mean, it's got a million views on the I started talking to everybody from the UFC. Like, oh, yeah. 
And I mean, the hate's going to come. People are like, oh, you shouldn't be talking shit, this and that. I'm like, bro, I'm a journalist. Wait, yeah, so are people DMing right? you kind of siding with Nate? Oh, all the time. Bro, let me tell you, Nate's fans. He's got diehard fans. Nate's fans are savages, bro. They're yes. savages. They will defend him to no end. You know what I mean? I get a lot. Anytime I bring up Nate Diaz or anybody from Stockton, and I even say, like, a little bit of a jab at them, boom, they're in my DMs. No, dude, we see it. When that motherfucker walks in the stadium, bro, the people yeah. go crazy for that dude. Yeah, bro. I know it was so weird. Then we saw him after, and then he's like, "We're like, what's good?" We said, "What up?" and shit. And then he's like, "Well, he's like, where are you guys going? I'm coming. With, I'm coming with you guys." Yeah, 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 I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, "All right, fuck." Yeah. And then we went upstairs to the suite and like hit a shoddy and shit. Wow. Like it was Holy so fuck. like he's just, I don't know, he's just a straight up guy, I guess. Yeah, right? Man. Like he's yeah. fucking. So it had nothing to do with it, like full send. It was just something that you. No, guys it was had me. It was me on my own. Like you, just man. coming in and fucking this up guy. the work. Bro. I know, bro. No, I forty hours in the job. We gotta fuck his left face. Right when I found that out, I was obviously like, Dave had a boner when he saw that. But you know what? That's what makes it stronger because in my first day at work, I got arrested. Yeah. So when you, you guys cried, like I know it's not the same shit, but like, you did know? you cry? First day? Did you cry? Well, or the no? US was the first day. He cried. You cried yeah. when you got arrested, didn't you? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was a fucking, I was renew my green car. Were you crying in the cell? Yeah. Where, what were you doing in the cell? I'd be like, okay, bitch. Was yeah. me, Come on, man. Nick, and Adrian, they put me by myself. I like, bro, come with me, myself. Bro, you're you're in a UCLA jail. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> guy, Wait, so guy cried in UCLA jail. They put me were there naked bars? Were shit. you on the bars? They put me naked and shit. I was like, oh, what shit. the fuck is that? Why did that? they do that? No, they did not. Did you get a half job? Yeah, they like make you go. Uh -oh. Yeah, ask the guys. Uh, what oh, would shit. you be doing? I'd, gotta... I'd be writing lyrics, bro. <laughs> we got a fucking registered beauty walking oh, in. God. Oh, God. I don't want this guy. I'll tell you right now, I don't want this guy to slap me. No. No, he won't. Unless he pissed him off. We're going to fucking, we're going to run up this channel. Look, Kay, if you go to Full Send MMA on YouTube right now, every fucking video is like gaining traction. The community video almost has a million views. Crazy. All right, let's get, let's get Liver King in here. Yeah. All right, we're going to bring in... Uh, the Liver King! Make sure you guys subscribe to Full Send MMA. OG absolutely crushed it. And the whole team, you guys crushed it. Let's go, bro, let's do. Shout out to the OG. What the fuck? Oh my God. What's up, bro? You fucking What's good, bro? How are you? How are you? Can I sit down? Yeah, get in. Yeah. Holy, you're fucking shredded, bro. Do you ever rock a tea or no? What, say again? You rocked a tea at the fight last night. They fucking made me. Did they? But you know what? We went to the Joe Rogan show. Did you guys go? Nah, it was last night? It, it was the night before. Fuck, how was it? It was so fucking hilarious. Really? Oh, my God. Oh, where was that at? I don't know. MGM something. And, uh, but here's the thing. Uh, so we went to security, and they're like, hey, um, you need a shirt. And I said, no, I already got approval from the man. Right. Oh shit. And Joe Rogan show? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, you DM Joe and you're like, yo, can I just not rock a tarp to your show? Well, I, I wish I wish I had that kind of fucking connection with him. Uh, but this is what I said to security. And then they let me go. And they <laughs> let me go. And then once you're past security, some other guys were eyeing me, like, hey, do you and I'm like, no, I already fucking got past security. I already got word from these guys. And so uh last night at the UFC. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh you're I, rocking I, a tea, bro. I was confused. I was like, who the fuck is oh no, it's Liver King, but he was rocking a shirt. What, what teas do you rock when you do rock teas? Oh, it's, uh, it's all, that's all liver queen. Like, are you like a polyester, <laughs> like a cotton oh, fuck type no. of guy? That's all subprimal shit. Yeah, ancestral tenant forest shield. We got to protect ourselves from this polyester shit. This shit's bullshit? That's all, that's all fucking oil and gas. You should probably go tarp off too. Well, if I had a 60 like him, I'd have my tarp off too. But These are implants. I got a little, I got a little mini implants. A, lot, a lot of people like, hey, you're fucking shredded. All you got to do is go get implants. Are you, are you Should I do me? that? So they're, they're like 10K each. No, I'm, you're not I'm rocking implants. 100 no, no, fucking K implants. worth of. Those are implants? implants? Dude, you think, you think somebody, get a feel on that shit. You, and they don't move. They don't fucking move. Are they actually implants? No. Oh, <laughs> Come on. What did you say? I looked at him and he said he wasn't trolling. No, he's not fucking fuckers. trolling. That's his whole thing. Uh, <laughs> he's trolling? Jack. Did you the gym today? Everyone gets trolled, dude. Thank know? you. But this, this is, I guess this is a thing. People are saying some shit like, hey, they don't move. They're implants. You know, like, they are you? Like oh, it. so they're not implants. No. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> dude, are you? All right, all right. I was trying to get implants, whole thing. Just don't mind I'll him, tell bro. you what they are. It's 35 years of hard fucking work every fucking this. day. Never taking Christmas off. You know, Did you hit the gym today? It, it, today is Sunday. It's my Sunday rest day. God's plan. So do you work out six, six days a week? I work out 14 times a week. Holy fuck. Two days. Uh, so normally it's two a day. Walk us through your, your like weekly routine. So here's the thing. I get up ju just after the sun is getting up, right? So what time? Six? Uh, uh, around 6.30-ish. Nice. 6 or 6.30. I get off my wooden plank bed. Right? I, have, I sleep on fucking wooden planks. 
Right, right on the fucking ground. Why? Right. I'll tell you why. Because you why the fuck your back? do people sleep in this fucking thing? Because it's comfy. Yeah, I want to. This is what you think. Gangster ass mattress. Number one, bro. comfort is not good for the organism. So can you say it? Comfort is not good for the organism. You fucking said it. You said it because this is true. Our entire yeah, he knows. Fucking, he does a lot of drugs. So since uh, he, know, he knows that. I don't well. do any drugs. Here's the chill. thing. Since the inception of our being, we oh, fucking shit. we yeah. we, we yeah. endured so the most horrific fucking things. He knows. Right, and now today. People sleep in fucking beds, right? They have AC or the heater. Nobody has to do anything fucking hard. True. Right? But here's the thing. What forges you, and I know that you know this. I know you know this, is the things that make you really grow in life are the things that are fucking hard. Otherwise, everybody would be rocking a self-fucking made king. You guys became self-made kings by doing hard shit. That's not easy. Comfort is not good for the organism. I get out of bed around 6.30 off my wooden fucking plank bed. I take a fucking piss, and I get right to fucking work. Can I ask you something? Have you tried a like comfortable mattress? Have I tried it? Yeah. What do you do? Uh, Wait, what do you do when you stay in hotels? I was gonna ask the so, same thing. So question. here's the thing, two, two. Number one, Brian Johnson was my predecessor. Liver King fucking ate that guy. That guy, Brian Johnson, 15 years ago, slept in one of those beds. It's a fucking cast. Those spring fucking mattresses. You know, that shit's a fucking cast. That shit's horrific for you. You get on the fucking ground, you do that for a while. And is and, it bad for you though, or does it just not make you stronger as a person? Multiple. Yes. Like it's not yes, bad yes. for you to sleep in a bed. It's bad. Wow. I, I, I could get into s s some of the detail. No, one thing I'll say is I can, um, I can sleep in a bed that has all. springs. Wait, do you use a pillow? I do. Oh, shit. I'll fucking tell you right that's now. Kind of, I, that's I, kind I, of stupid. Why you should be using a brick, bro? Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, you use a brick. brick. <laughs> you gotta use a brick. Here's the thing. I got a pack of Dobermans. And when I see how my Dobermans prop their head up on something, it's a wild fucking instinct. You know, and here's the thing. I, I, I put my, my head, you know, I'm like, it's, it's not fucking comfortable, you know, uh, to, to sleep without a pillow. So I use a fucking pillow. I do use a pillow. But here, here's how I start my day. I get out of this fucking thing, right? I take a fucking piss and I get right to fucking work. I stack the sun and the earth. <laughs> I share my wins to create that winning mindset with, with my ecosystem. And then I get into the fucking gym. I get into the fucking gym. I, hit, I do the hardest thing I have to do all day first thing in the fucking morning. You eat before the gym or no? No. No. I haven't even eaten today. Protein, we, nothing. Let's, let's hear like a, what's your day to day look like? That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so I, I, I get to the fucking the fuck gym. I do the hardest fucking thing I'm going to do. Immediately after the gym, I eat raw liver. I eat raw bone marrow. I eat fertilized raw eggs. I have a liver king bar and a whole beast protein shake. This is what I have immediately afterwards. And then I get to work meeting with my, the CEOs of my companies. I own a handful of companies. I do CEO meetings then. I hope that I get a podcast opportunity, but uh, the opportunity that I have with you guys right now means I'm gonna I I'm gonna cancel all these fucking meetings. Because <laughs> you know what? I did my job today. Tell them the fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. Get, you guys get Come the on, fuck bro. out of here because I did my job. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, I, I, I'm I, I'm so grateful. You know, um, because well, I appreciate you coming through. Yeah, thank we you. Just saw we saw your guys. Yeah, yeah, so like, we just saw your hat. guys in the hotel encore lobby or whatever. You know, we we've been doing so much all morning. Yeah. Um, I used all my best energy. And then these guys called me up and they said, they ran into you guys. We're going. And, I, and, I, and you know what? Are you fucking kidding me? Of course we're going. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I can't fucking believe I'm That's how the best shit here, happens, right? right? Uh, uh, after, after this meeting, I'm going to call my CEOs and say, get the fuck out of here for the next two weeks because I did my job. But this is what I do. I, I meet with those guys. Uh, and then I, maybe I'll do a podcast. Maybe I'll handle a few. Emails. But I get right back to fucking work again for my second workout of the so day. So after the raw fertilized eggs, what's next? I meet with my CEOs. Okay. I mean, uh, so I, I do some legitimate business. I, I meet with my CEOs. Then I get back into the gym around 12 or 1. So it's my second workout of the day. That's about an what's, hour and a half. What's the first one? Is it like a lift? Is it cardio? Dude, cardio. What do you do, you cardio? Do I need to get cardio. cardio. <laughs> is you cardio for pussies? Cardio. cardio is officially for pussies. Really? Oh, fuck. I mean, why would you just go out and do cardio, right? Like, who, who goes out and just... Oh, I got to lose weight, so I got to do cardio, yeah, right? What's, what's the regimen you would give him? Absolutely not. That's the, the fucking opposite so of what should I do? do. Here's the thing. Well, Here's I, I have a bad... Okay. He's addicted to hockey. I have laws. a bad going on right now. If I lose 25 pounds in 60 Let days... Let me tell him, Liver King, okay. I made a bet with him. 25 pounds in 20... Or no, 25 pounds in 60 days. I'll give him $25,000. That's fucking easy. You you got to fucking connect with How? me. Come but, on, bro. But listen, I'm not going to just tell you a short term because that's real fucking easy. I hate the gym. Here, here's the thing. Don't fucking, fucking eat. Don't eat. He can't control himself, though. Listen, you and I are going to talk, but but here's the thing. What most people don't realize <laughs> is it's lean <laughs> mass. Max Crosby, too. Yeah. Sure you just have him sit in for games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's your lean mass. Like I talking about my gym thing. That determines your basal metabolic rate. I, I, I'll burn 7,000 calories a day just because of my lean mass. 
right? So the most important thing, so, so, so cardio is, is, a, is a fucking myth. So you it's, never do cardio. Here's the thing. Cardio is worked in metabolic conditioning. Cardio is worked into lifting heavy shit. So I go lift heavy shit and I manage my rest sessions. I'm not going to rest more than a minute or two. My, my, my heart rate doesn't go below 120 and I'm doing another fucking set. So here's the thing. I'm building my fucking squat. I'm building my strength, which is the ultra alpha fucking virtue across time and space, right? I'm strong. I look fucking strong. I'm my fucking barbarian self and I'm able to get cardio in at the same time. Yeah. 100%. Right? That's so, facts. so guys that go out and do cardio, like you guys see the guys that do cardio that run marathons. Yeah, you yeah I don't like fuck those with those guys? guys. No, fuck no. no. You don't want to look like those guys. No. But I can't lift like twice a day. You don't have to. So is it bad if I lift and then do cardio at night? You don't shred because I'm trying to shred no, my. No, you gotta do both together. He, can't, he just said the, the number you drink one. Too much. What about drinking though? He can't cut drinking. You gotta fucking keep drinking. I drink. Do you? No. Fuck yeah. you. Drink? Gotta no. Have a happy dad. Here's the thing. I want a fucking happy dad. Try to fucking get one of these fucking beings. And, and, and I thought you were sober, you, bro. You guys, uh, here, I thought, I thought you were going to be... I love you so much more now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to be sober. <laughs> well, I'm going to step out. I'm going to go. go. Yeah, so you're you guys Max can you're gonna, Are you going to party with on. us at AU after? Max. Would love to. Sugar Sean's going to oh come Oh my God, too. what the fuck is this? This Let's, is great. I told you. Yeah, look at the look at the macros on it. Look at the macros? <laughs> Zero fats. <laughs> oh, shit. 20 grams of sodium. What's up, baby? Max Crosby. Liver King. Good, my man. Good to meet you. So Big boy uh, Cuban today. One gram of sugar. You, Let's go. Oh, yeah. And electrolytes. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to be drinking yeah, Happy Dad now. Cheers. Yo, so what's the deal? Like, do you want to learn from him how to get, like, swole? Because you look like you're slacking <laughs> a little bit. Shit. You got this big boy I contract. I don't think I could ever look like that, honestly. But shit. Well, I just, they're implants. Implants? I heard, I heard people are trying to, trying to bring you down, bro. Shit, like, I yeah, see yeah. it. My brother is talking about it. He's like, I'm on Snapchat every single day. All of a sudden, there's a new scandal. He goes, yeah, they're trying bro. to bring Liver King down. It's the they're funniest of the shit. Alpha man. How do you I love it. that? You know what? I love it. I fucking love it. I, you know, anybody who's like, thinks that they're a hater. That's how you know you're doing something right, right? Or any critic. No, it's not only that you know, know that you're doing something right, but it's like, how the fuck are you going to be a critic of the original way of fucking being? But here's my message. Like, I'm not inventing a message. My message is the ancestral way of being. The original human way of being. Sleeping on the fucking ground. Eating the way our early he ancestors on a blank. ate. I love that shit. Where do you Movie. sleep on? It's Wait, what do, you, what do you sleep on? Max sleep has on the best bed in the fucking Wait, You have world, a fire man. California I king. I know you oh, do, 100%. bro. I'm locked in. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, my kids. I'm, I'm sink right into that. Yeah. So, yeah. And my kids sleep on one in fucking planes too. Right? And it, and it makes you fucking hard here and here. And fucking here and let your barbarian guy out. So here's the thing, you know, uh, haters think that they're hating. They're not fucking hating. You know, what they're doing is they're making this guy who was obscure six months ago. Nobody knew my name. No, you, it was impossible to know my name. I had no social media account. And then the haters start talking shit. And, and I'm on the beach and I go show Liver Queen. Can you believe these guys <laughs> are talking about? I, I'm, I'm, you guys, I'm Who's on Liver Queen. Liver Queen is my wife. Oh, Liver Queen. Liver, Liver Queen. Queen, how are you? Shout out Liver Queen. Does she sleep on a wooden plank? Dude, she sleeps on the fucking hardest wooden plank. I like a little bit of pad. What the fuck does your house look like, what bro? What kind of wood? Is it like, is it like mahogany, I see the layout. birch? I got some I don't fucking raw liver. Raw fucking liver? Who oh else wants some goodness. raw liver? No, I, I can't do that. Oh What's my up? God. I'll take I'll have a little Max, bit. Max. Bring it over. <laughs> Yo, I have to. Fuck? It's iconic. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Oh my God. It's fucking bleeding. Is it? Where'd you get that from, Gabe? You carry that oh, on you? You can't even eat it like that. You throw that whole oh thing Oh, my out. God, bro. I did, but my oh name my is God. the Liver King. You're a, diff, you're a different animal. But let me say this because I'm going to need like a knife Come or on. something. There we go. Yeah, maybe chop know. up. So, yeah, what kind of wood? Do you, yeah, are you like a birch I'm guy, in. mahogany? I don't even fucking know what any of that shit is. Wood is wood Oak. to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I love it. But, but the name is Liver King. Maybe some maple? Because liver is king. I, I just want to get this message out because I know we're having a great fucking time. I'm loving the fuck out of this happy dad. Cheers. This is delicious. Never had one of these before. Um, but I, I just always want to make sure I can get this message out. The name is Liver King because liver is king. If there's one thing you can do to change the trajectory of your life, it's to eat liver. It's going to give you this drive. It's going to give you energy. It's going to make you a fucking beast to express your highest and most dominant form. Really? Do these things. It's what other alpha predators do. How come do. more people don't do it then? You, you know what? That, 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 this is my fucking job. Now. I mean, they don't really know, right? No one just knows that they have to eat liver and shit. That's like, true. I didn't know but that. But has anybody been like, yo, I've been eating liver and like my shit's changed? Oh, all the time. Okay. All the fucking time. Well, why aren't you doing that, bro? I don't know. 
Honestly, I'm shit. Well, I, you can start right now. You, I, you didn't even take a bite, bro. I saw you. Here, here's the thing. I'm gonna. You're, you're he's he's cutting. No, he's cutting it up. He's, oh, he's cutting. I'm gonna do it. Okay. This is iconic. And, and you're I, a fucking shit, I champion. It, bro. You're you're a fucking champion. I appreciate and, and that. I, and I know that you know this. Hell it's yeah. the smallest fraction of one percent that start to make the difference. So guys that are already optimized like you, oh, bring me. Yeah, that we one. have to. Of what course. the fuck, Not Kyle? You have to. Yeah, I'm gonna eat. Get in there. Oh, get down on this raw small. liver. Steiny, you're fucking eating. Oh. Just, okay, you bro, it's just like sushi. Yeah, get down on it. Just like sushi. If there's another fucking piece, I'm going to take that too. Eat it. Thank you. What do you think? Those are not bad. Don't lie. I'm fucking disgusting. I had bro. so many shots last night, I was Can already going to throw this? up already. Yeah. It's not great, but it's not the worst it's thing not that I've bad. ever had. Yeah, I thought it'd be worse. Yeah. You hitting that for dinner or no? Might cook it, but and don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Cook yeah. it. Put some fucking lots of butter, onions. You're you're gonna. Yeah. I'm t at the smallest fraction of one percent at your level. Yeah. Makes all the fucking difference. 100%. How how big is your plank that you sleep on? Like, is it like big or is it's it like fucking massive as fuck? Can we get a plank at your crib? <laughs> you should try I, this, bro. I, after I'm done playing, I'm I'm down. <laughs> I, I might go a whole month. And just you, see uh, how it is. I want. You know, this guy just signed a huge contract. I appreciate it. Yeah. Four year, 94 million. What's good, baby? Oh. Cuban. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. That's fucking so what's good. Amazing. Do you buy something or what? Absolutely. You got a few chains and no. No, I've already, I've already had You already had that? Like, yeah, I don't have to spend it now. Straight I'm up. Good. I'm chilling. Yo, what'd you, you were at the fight. What'd you think? It was honestly the card. The O'Malley, the O'Malley you know, the main know. card comes out. It's just, it's, un, it's unfortunate. You know, obviously, I'm a big Sugar Show fan. So seeing it end that way is shitty, bro. It's heartbreaking. It's bro. shitty. But I think. Honestly, he's got to get back in there. He just yeah. did a full camp. He Honestly, looked great. So it's like I was kicking it with Miles there. Teller and Chris Pratt. So I wasn't even really watching the fights. You know those guys? <laughs> You're a fanboy. No, bit. we were no. It was like we went together. Stiny oh, okay. Astro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are my boys. What do you mean? Huh? So yeah, I didn't really watch them, but oh yeah, so I heard it was yeah. not that not that lit last night. What'd you think? I loved it. Uh, Ancestral hey, ten and eight hey, is fight. You know, you and, and, and in life, like there's no more fucking primal, true expression of who you are than to be able to fucking fight. Right. I mean, come on, let's face it. Everybody fucking talks to people that talk shit, give an illusion, like try to try to be cool. Right. There's no being cool when you fight. Right. It's the truest expression of who you are. Right. And, and imagine if we could all just be the truest fucking version of ourselves all the fucking time. I went to the fight and I loved every fucking fight. And I, I don't know the other guy's name. Uh, I, I, I don't really watch TV, but it was I, Robbie. I'm going to fuck it up. Robbie Lawler. Lawler. Yeah. That that was my favorite fight. That, I love that fight. That was a good one. That was yeah. probably the best one. I love, I love, I love, but I loved every, and I brought my kids with me. Are you, so I had my kids right fucking next to me. Liver Queen right here. I'm are you a physical a guy though? Like, would you, if it came down to it, would you get physical with somebody? Or? Would I? Yeah. Oh, if, uh, you know, all, all the fucking time I have to. Yeah. I mean, and, and here's the thing. I'm, I'm not a fucking dick walking around looking for trouble. Right. You know, but uh, here, here's the thing. Like, it's our obligation and responsibility to, number one, be strong, to be able to impose our force of will, because if somebody tries to take your shit, what the fuck are you going to do? You yeah. better fucking be strong. You know how many people die in life because they don't have the strength to carry their own weight? Right? If you got to do a pull-up to save your life, you know how many motherfuckers can't do a single pull goddamn pull-up? How many pull-ups can you do? Shit, I don't go and Can you do 20 pull-ups? Yeah, I could do 20. Okay. How many can you do? Shit, I'm like a 10. A I can do 10. I can do 10. No, I can do 10. I swear to God. No, I can do 10. How many can you do? <laughs> See, the, the, this is the wrong question. Well, I'm but curious, bro. Like, I want to see who's I stronger. The, 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 oh, it's fucking me. It's him. Right, here, here's Look the bro. thing. <laughs> he's a fucking, he's an Olympian. He's, I don't know. Yeah. If, he, if he lines up against you, you're getting through him. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I, <laughs> go, against, I go against 330-pound guys, though. Yeah, you know what true. I mean? So, but if he's for your weight back, class, he might, he yeah. might truck stick your ass. I don't, I don't know about that, but, <laughs> hey, I trust Liver King, man. He's a fucking, he's an animal. It's hilarious. Me and my cousin are Die hard Liver King fan, so oh we've been trying to, Let's and I go. truly mean that. I'm not just Liver saying King's that. So we, yeah, had, we send the Instagram no videos all the here, time. Right? I had no clue. Yeah, I had no clue. So this is this is. I, I had no clue. Uh, Thirty minutes ago, my fucking guys called me say the full fucking sin guys say come over, and and I, <laughs> I'm over. like, oh my god, <laughs> are you kidding me? I had a fucking cup of coffee as fast as I could. And I'm like, let's fucking do this thing. I'm going to cancel all my CEO meetings for the next two weeks. We did our fucking job. To, my job, my job is the CEO of the, of the ancestral lifestyle to model. To market, some, right? To, to market. To what? market like your shit. It's, it's, it's to market this lifestyle. Yeah. Right. Because people are fucking hurting today. Most people live a life that fucking sucks. Right. And there's a life that you guys know about that's goddamn worth living. And there's a simple, elegant solution in doing it. It doesn't cost a fucking pity. You can start doing it. To, you start eating liver. You start lifting heavy shit. So you, liver is just the cure to everything. 
Well, I'll, I'll, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. I don't actually believe that. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's the whole fucking way of living. Like, there's nine ancestral tenants. Eat is one of the tenants. And li eating liver is just one sub w w one subset. So you were doing this before you went viral, right? Like, doing I've been, all this I've been doing this for a long fucking How time. Long? Yeah. 15 years. I've been, I've been living this way for, for 15 years. Why do you think years. it took so long to, like, fucking pick up and go crazy? Here's the thing. Six, seven months ago, um, my, my, a bunch of guys around me said, you got to fucking go on social media. Yeah. And I'm like, there's no fucking way. Because I'm, I'm rich and I'm anonymous. And that's a pretty good fucking life to live. You don't have to answer nothing to nobody. 100%. And, 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 but but my, my job has always been to take this message mainstream. And so now I'm rich and I'm less anonymous. And I'm sure you guys know it's not real fucking easy to go places anymore. I just want to go in the fucking beach sometimes with my kids. And you got a line of fucking people, you know, but, but this is well, my dude, job if you now. rock a shirt, like, you might be okay, right? Well, I thought so, too. I'll put a shirt on. I'll put a hat on. I don't look at people in the eyes. I'd never have a shirt on if I was shredded. Like yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, I'd be tarp shit. negative. No. Why are you rocking a shirt? I don't know, honestly. You're not jacked like that? Why are you like, rocking yeah, a shirt? Sure. Yeah, why are you rocking? Well, I don't have a chain. You let me borrow the Cuban. I'll go straight <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad you called it a chain. We had this kid uh, uh, with us on vacation. <laughs> Uh, and I go, hey, man, what's that around your neck? He goes, a necklace. I'm like, girls fucking wear necklaces. Girls wear necklaces. You call exactly. that shit a chain, and you better have a goddamn good story. You need a big boy it. Cuban. Say again? You need a Cuban like that, I think. I, I agree. What's a Cuban? That's what he's rocking. You like this like tennis? Cuban chain. You should yeah, rock yeah, a yeah, chain, yeah. Liver King. Yeah, so I, I love it all. You want it? I, Steve gave it to me, so I'll give it to you. I can't fucking put that shit around my neck. Why not? Why? Hey, it's, so it's try fucking, it on, bro. Diamonds, diamonds come from the earth. I'm a diamond. Right there. Gabe. This, wait, 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 what? Gabe. Think about it. Come diamonds come from the earth. Do you like this or no? Yeah, of course I fucking like it. Steve gave it to me, so I'll pass He's it on. He's gifting it you to you right now, but you have to rock it, bro. You keep it. Fuck, okay, let's and do it. And it can't shit. be rubbing it against the fucking <laughs> wooden plank. You have to take that shit off. I can't believe you Yo, guys Yo, Gabe, put it on for him. Yeah, yeah, I don't. What, what the fuck is this thing? You gotta tuck it Wait, under the beard. Wait, it's not gonna go to waste though, cause you yeah, you're, you have to shave your fucking beard. <laughs> Maybe bro. get it back. Are you the Are you kidding me? You gave it to me. No fucking <laughs> take back. <laughs> this is mine. There we go. Okay. This Damn, is mine. bro. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> I can feel the fucking weight. <laughs> you can keep it. Thank you. Let's go. Things have a secret Kyle. power, bro. It's like a That's, superpower when yeah. you put that thing on. I, I'm already I already see it. Liver Queen staring at you. She's jealous. She's gonna need one now. Hey, you see that Polish eagle around her neck? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What's the meaning behind that? Polish eagle. Okay. It's, yeah. She she she's Polish and uh, it, it represents strength. Yeah, it represents strength. Do you have any other crazy things? So you sleep on a wooden plank. You eat liver. What else is weird in your house? Or or not weird, but yeah, like yeah. That that's the thing. You know, like this is how I live. And and so when when people there's got to be visit, some other random shit you do that's like not normal. What? Other like random shit that's not normal. You know what? I, I'll say everything that we do is not normal. What do you wipe your ass with? Uh, number one, I don't have to wipe my fucking ass. What? How? <laughs> because I don't fucking eat fiber. But number two, I, I, I want you to know um, that my, my thing is, why eat vegetables when you can eat testicles? Right? Uh, this is the oh number God. one fucking thing. not doing that shit. You Bring doing that? Bring out a nut. Yo, hey, that? where's the fucking testicles? Let's get around yeah, the no. fucking testicles. No, 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 Y'all are eating one. If I'm eating one, no, I'm I'm oh, every day. What kind of testicles? Fucking, any fucking testicles fucking count. What's the best? Not, not human testicles. What's the best testes to eat? You, you know what? We, we, we get down on bull testicles. Bull? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what does that do for you, though? It fucking gives you strength, power. Do you guys have really? Here? Is that like an yeah. alpha move, though? I don't know. Said, yeah. You have it? Them? absolutely is. There's you know, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Bone marrow? You know, I'll do bone yes, marrow. Bone marrow. I'll do bone yeah. marrow. Bone marrow and liver. This, 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 this is what I model, teach, and preach. Like, every fucking meal, you have to have this. And I get it. Like, I say white vegetables when you can eat testicles. But here's the thing, what, what that really is like, it, it's a fucking marketing thing, right? I want to say that because people remember that. But what I'm really trying to fucking say is like supports like. We need to eat nose to tail. We've always eaten this way. Just recently, we abandoned the wise ways of our fucking ancestors, right? These modern day primitive culture tribes are kicking our fucking ass in life. They're as happy as fuck. They already have six packs, right? And this is how they eat. And then, you know, after they're done butchering the animal, they give the muscle meat to the fucking dogs. They leave the muscle meat around, right? Everyone goes, if you look at great white sharks, they're devoured by killer whales. The, the alpha predator in the sea is a killer whale. You know what they eat first? The fucking liver. The fucking liver. This is what animals in the wild go for. We just recently abandoned these ways, right? But we need to fucking bring this shit back. I agree. What, Listen, what about you? You got a chef? Um, you got a chef. You're eating good, bro. Yeah, I no, know you're eating I, good. I, I you're eating good. I'm, I'm very, I'm very serious about my meal <laughs> prep. So yeah. What's your prep like? You got a, you got Shit. a chef, right? 
Oh uh, yeah, we got a team chef, so I, I buy all, all my meals through them. Yeah, so what's your diet? Um, shit, a lot. It's a lot of protein. I eat at the same time every single day, six a.m., nine a.m. I have lunch at two. I have my post workout snack, four p.m. p.m. snack, six thirty dinner, eight p.m. Fuck, uh, bro. Yeah, like my my p.m. snack. So, so how many yeah, calories you taking a day? You think over five thousand probably. So damn, yeah. got to stay on point. What though. do you eat? Shit, I from I eat bison, I eat chicken, I eat salmon, rice, vegetables, shit like that. And I bet you love it, right? I love it. How yeah. many times are you going to the gym a day? Because he goes twice. So. I go. I, I just go don't know how morning. dedicated you are because he goes oh, twice yeah. a day. I'm in the building from six a.m. to at least noon every single day. Oh, really? Every day. I'm there are you the one. first guy there? First guy in the building. <laughs> You're a fucking leader, baby. Let's Come on, go. Bro. Come on. That's and dope. I'm not just gonna say that. I'm not that guy. It's like I'm first and last to leave. Oh, I, I would I'm say there every day, ready to. You lead the defense at this point. For sure, bro. Right? That's, it, that's what I want to do. What's it like playing in like Vegas? It's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. The fan base, like, is insane. Obviously, people in Vegas are here to watch football and entertainment. So, as a team, like, get on the field. We have to put on a show, and uh, we've been doing that. Like my first year in Oakland. It was definitely a little bit different. Like, it was oh, yeah. crazy. Like, the fans were fucking falling over the stands. It was, like, a complete show every single time. But coming to Vegas, it's, like, it's gone to a whole different level. It's like, definitely different, but both of them are, are You great. like living here? I love it. I really? Love it. You yeah. stay here in the off-season or no? Yeah, I live here full-time. I just bought a house in, um, in Henderson. So Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's 20 minutes from here. Everything is close. So is there a lot of distractions ever here or no? Honestly, it's not It's not too bad. Like, for me, I'm, I'm sober. I've been sober over two years, so... I stay out the way. Just being in being in Vegas is awesome. Like you can come here like a fight. You go twenty minutes down the road, go to a fucking fight, but I can drive twenty minutes and go right back home and it's in a quiet neighborhood and nobody around. So it's like it's got the best of both worlds. Are there guys sure. that go to the strip and party and shit? Yeah, of course. That's you know, the NFL, there's a lot of craziness going on. A lot of people don't realize there's a lot of a Have lot you ever of had to like tell one of your like guys on the D like, yo, bro, take it easy, you're going a little too hard? Of course, of course. There's always times like that. Like I, I used to be that guy when I was a, a rookie. Yeah. Like I was, I was wild. Yeah. Um, but I had to learn. Like mm -hmm. for me, it, I had to go through that and change my way of living. And it's, it's funny. That's why I respect the shit out of you because a lot of people don't respect it. But like nobody, you know, I live in Vegas and I play football and I'm completely sober. I don't put a single thing that affects no me above the shoulders right? ever. So yeah, for me, it's like. It's like my superpower in a way. Like liver for him is is his superpower. For me, I know nobody's getting up at five twenty in the off season every morning. I know that's what gives me like when I go into a game, I have so much confidence. I'm not stressed out and shit. I'm like, I know. This I put is in the work. He's, a, like, he's a gangster. There's though. only one type of yeah, king. Yeah, he's a fucking gangster, bro. <laughs> it's a self made king. That fired that's me up. Yeah, it did. When oh, you yeah. put in that kind of fucking work, right? Oh, yeah. You can create and shape the exact life that you want to live in, 100%. right? And, and 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 when you can do that, you know, and other people fucking see. You know you, what? What you show them? Oh, we got some bone marrow. You fuck, get, get oh, a fucking piece bro. of that Ew, bone bro. marrow. Guys. Why Come do we Steiny. do this, man? You're doing it too. Is right? this better than liver? Come on, bro. I just ate bro. a fucking liver. Liver's fucking amazing. It's gangsta. Ah, oh, get down on that. So mm. you just like put a spoon in it and scoop. You put it some out? salt, or pepper on this bitch or no? That's fucking. You don't have gross. to again. <laughs> what, you need some seasoning on the good. shit. Why oh. do you eat it like that? How much do you eat of that? Oh my god. I, I, I eat all of that. At least all of that every day. How, so yeah, so what's your diet like? You ever been to Carbone? That are you? That's different. Never you should go there. It's fucking amazing. What is that? It's like a really good Italian spot. <laughs> okay. You should go. <laughs> you Just know, to we... see if you like it. Like, maybe you'll never eat fucking liver again if you go there. It, it, no, there's no fucking way. Really? You know, we, we, we got <laughs> Do you eat any chef. normal food, though? What? Do you eat any, like, cooked or normal shit? We do, we do. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, when we learned how to create fire at will, yeah. we obviously cooked shit. Mm -hmm. But we've always had raw shit, too. Right, and so we we always incorporate our organs are raw. When we eat testicles raw, we eat heart raw, we eat brain raw. But then we eat the muscle meats cooked. Right? We have double bacon fucking cheeseburgers. We got ribeye steaks that are cooked. Yeah. Right? But think about it: when you guys get a ribeye, how do you have it cooked? Medium rare. And so you're having some portions of it that are raw. So you get right. Medium well. Medium well. No, do you really? Medium well. Yeah. You have to do that for diet. No, I just I don't really eat steaks like you that. You get medium well. Medium well. Yeah. Kind of I don't move. like it too That's bloody. Really beta. Really? I don't like it too. Bloody. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh, I'm crazy. So glad you fucking said hey, that. I'm not, I'm not eating steak like that. So you know what I mean. That's pretty subprimal. It's fucking That's what, subprimal. That's what I was thinking. Fuck. I got work to do. <laughs> I just eat it straight raw as steaks. Do you bloody watch all enough. the stuff? You watch all the videos? Well, like y'all's podcasts yeah. and shit. Fuck yeah. Do you watch the Nelk videos too? Of course, of course. I watch Steve. I watch Cobb. I've been watching y'all for a long time. My buddies, my buddies from college, when 
we used to be wild and party and shit like that. We watch y'all's videos, be like, bro, got to do this shit, record and all that. So yeah, we bro. yeah we used to we used to be locked in. and We still are, bro. So do you? Well, I was surprised that you drink because like you're such a healthy guy. Yeah, can you believe that? I, I am, but here's the thing: ancestral tendon yeah, for a shield. I've heard this, yeah, right? Shield. And so, so here's the thing: if you built a more biologically robust, like baby, our ancestors guzzed, right? Have some fucking poison. <laughs> have some poison because you know what? I know that the benefits of drinking this delicious fucking drink right now are going to outweigh the fucking poison. Like, to deepen the connection with you guys right now, to share a fucking drink. You know, like, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to fucking pass on this. Pretty fire, right? I'm not going to fucking pass on this. Here's the thing. I, 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 um, but I fucking earn the fuck out of it, too. I work out twice a fucking day. Mm-hmm. I get my 12 to 14 workouts in a week. And you, so you bet your fucking ass come Saturday. I do the barbarian workout, which is the hardest fucking thing I do all week. What is that? It, the barbarian workout is is the fucking yeah. hardest thing you well, will ever fucking the do. Barbarian. I want to hear. I want to do it with you. But okay, I'm, I'm so gonna does tell Max. You, but, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. When I tell you the weight, at first you're probably gonna think, "Oh, I fucking will crush this," and you would. You would. So for you, I just want you to know that I got a super. I'm gonna tell you the super barbarian because the super barbarian is for us, right? Okay. It's Why a, is it just for you two and not uh, us? There's no fucking way. <laughs> what do you I mean? No goddamn fucking way. Because I'm gonna tell you what it is, and you're gonna say to yourself, "There ain't no fucking way I could do super." Your book by its cover, but, bro. But what you could do is, you know what? I I take it all fucking back. Yeah, I'm we'll fucking you, do the super what? barbarian right after this. I'm gonna fucking take bro. it all back. I I know yeah. for a fucking fact you could. Yeah, I know for right. a fact you could. Okay, so tell it. us what it is. Let me Let's hear it. it. I need okay. to hear this shit. So so this is what it is. Uh, how much do you weigh? Uh, 265. Okay, so you got 130 pound kettlebells in each hand. Okay. You have 265 pounds on a sled behind okay. you. You have 130 pounds in a backpack, okay. and you have 20 pound ankle weights, and you go one fucking mile. <laughs> 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 One mile. That's what the insane. fuck? And you know how That's many insane. fucking days? You don't do that. Do you do that? How many times a week do you do that? I do every Saturday. <laughs> no, that's that's obviously you got to take breaks in between. You can't hold 130 oh, for a month. No fucking way. Do you yeah. take breaks? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, bro! Like this of course, how many breaks? You have to. How many? That makes sense. Dude, you yeah. go. Wait, yeah. How long does that take you? Um, do a mile. So here's the thing: if you haven't done Super Barbarian, you don't really talk about it. So I'm just going to talk really fucking generally. Um, <laughs> most people will take days for them to complete Super Barbarian. Holy and I don't fuck. want people to get wrapped up, you know, be like, oh, my God, fucking days. Just know that there's the Barbarian, which is a standard fucking workout. It's 70 pound kettlebells. OK, it's still okay. the 20 pound ankle weights. It's, it's 70 pounds in the backpack, 120 pounds on the sled. It's still the mile. You know, most people, it, it'll take a couple of hours to do Barbarian. So start with Barbarian. But for guys like us. We got oh, yeah. the super barbarian. I love it. And how long does that take you? Yeah. For you super personally. Barbarian. Listen, I can't fucking say. Why? Because you haven't done it. No, you were absolutely you right. How, like, yeah, we're not doing that shit. I'm the world record no holder well, how long for, is it? for barbarian. I'm going to tell you barbarian. I'm the world record holder for how barbarian. How long does it take? Under 50 minutes. 50? Under under five zero. Under 50, 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Yeah. Most people, it, it'll take four to five hours to do barbarian. Okay. And, and a lot of people fucking pass out. And I'm fucking looking at you, Dom. Where's Dom? Dom, raise your fucking hand. Dom he's starts, tried it. That guy's attempted it. He, he's and he done passed it. out. He did it, and he starts going, and he fucking wait. Super barbarian or barbarian? Barbarian. Who, who came up with That's this? Wild. You? I fucking came up with this. I love it. Well, why aren't you doing it? Shit. Everybody has their own different way of training. What's he's your training. barbarian workout? Barbarian workout is probably <laughs> fucking this. ninety-four million four years. I don't know. We do a lot of a lot of different. Stop, shit. He's just talking shit. Jeez, so we gotta throw him in the pool after. One hundred percent. Max, just Max picks him up one hand, King, toss him in the pool. Yeah, no, exactly. No, we're boys. But no, we do a lot of shit. Like obviously Keep for him, can. he's not worried about training for football or cardio and shit like that. Like football, you have to. There's a balance. Like you got to be able to run and be flexible and be strong at the same time. Like a lot of guys get in the weight room and fucking just get big, but they get stiff and slow, and their cardio is not on point. So it's like. You got to find that balance and then the recovery has got to be just as big. Like for me, every single day, I'm two hours on the Normatex, flushing my legs. What is that? I stretch before I go to bed. It's like those, those you know, like those puff Steve things hits them, bro. You put your legs out. Yeah, it just flushes your legs. I get at least two to three massages in the off season a week. Um, shit like that, just so my body like tub? can keep up with the training. Yeah, every day. Hot tub, cold tub, steam room after every I love workout. The steam room, bro. It's the best. But I yeah. do all this stuff too. Because yeah. this is what it's about. Are you in the cold no, tub or not? I was going to ask we you, too. Fuck. Yours is filled with ones. piss or it's what? It's 34 yeah. degrees. Yes. Liver King just laughs Do you know it's not? Tub, eh? Dude, I I, I, it. it's, so we have a 34 Swims degree. The- your kids are pissing cool. while you're in the cold tub? They piss in the cold tub or what? No, 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 no. But uh, but, 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 but I fucking, what? they better piss outside, like, It's crazy shit. Because if I see them fucking using the pisser inside. There's no shitters in your house? Oh, we got shitters in the fucking house. But like, why would you do that stuff in a toilet? 
Yeah. When you can do that and, and nothing, fucking nothing does land. beat an outside. Wait, so piss. do you go outside and take a shit? <laughs> oh, back outside love it. pisses. Do you do dull. that or not? Be real. <laughs> okay, so for real, yeah, I fucking I take a shit in the toilet. Oh, okay. okay. You know, uh, but but uh, <laughs> you can shit out in his backyard. Yeah, you <laughs> can shit in the backyard. Yeah. But anytime. I, I want to say this uh, about barbarian. <laughs> gotta see Liver King shitting in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> we got a video on that. It'd be you big. Guys, oh they thought it was fucking. We were in uh, uh, Wyoming, and I took a shit outside, and we took a fuck. I said, "Take a video of this." I'm gonna take a shit outside. You yeah. all take a video. But but here's the thing. I, w- I want to say this about um, the barbarian because you said you're like, "Hey, why aren't you doing this?" You you have your version of barbarian, of course, and yeah. it's the hardest fucking thing you do to. Yeah. Make. But um, barbarian really is a rite of passage, right? And now people turn 16 in the modern world, and they have like a sweet 16 party, right? But all primitive culture tribes had a legitimate ride of fucking passage to cross this chasm from being a fucking boy to becoming a man. Your kids get a wooden plank on their 16th birthday or what? My kids have been sleeping on a wooden plank since they were fucking born. My, my, my guys have. They don't know any better. You put them in a bed. And I mean, what the fuck is this? What, what is this thing? But what do you do in hotels? Do you bring the planks? We sleep on the fucking ground. Just sleep on the ground. Yeah. But the bed's right there. That's cap. Yeah. Oh. I'm calling cap. Hey, is Are you that, going cap or no? No, I believe him. I just... I, I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm just saying, like, if you're going in a, because I know your thing is Have about like being connected to the ground. If you're in a hotel and you're on like the seventh floor, if you're on the ground, you're not t- technically connected to the ground. Are you fucking serious? You think, think about that. Yeah. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying it's about. Think about that. You, you, you think you got me? No, too? I'm ready to hear the response. <laughs> I want to hear this. I want to hear the response. Why, why, why is it about being connected to the ground? It's about being connected to the ground. It is. He's right. Yeah. Come on. I watch this. And I'm fucking right. Fuck it. Because what what we do is we sleep in an EMF shielding tent. And this tent is made out of Faraday material. Okay. And it's fucking plugged into the grounding port of the electrical outlet. So I'm fucking grounded on the 33rd floor. You bring it to the hotel, a tent? Wow. Everyone, ha- every- all of us sleep in a fucking tent. Separate, in a fair- <laughs> I don't believe Separate that. Separate tents? We, we do. You sleep in a tent. I don't want to hear it. Liver Queen, tell them. And we're... Where are my boys? Are my boys here? Can we, well, can we go on like a trip together? I was gonna say come over. Wait, do your kids go, I need to go to the house. Rock a shirt? We, we live in Texas, but we well, all sleep in these fucking uh, okay. tents. We live in the woods. It's between Houston and, and Dallas. Can my we come parents through? and everybody lives on Texas. Yeah. I think we might be there on like the uh, 19th. I would love to show you around. We'll come through. I your crib? would love to show oh you around. Oh my God, we got to do a uh, fucking yeah. what part of Texas, house man? tour. It's, we live in the woods between Houston and Dallas, but like we'll drink some fucking blood. Yeah. Yeah. We get what fre- kind of well, whose blood though? Fresh, <laughs> fresh blood from a cow. Okay. Isn't that like satanic? Sh- oh no, but cow blood. Well, here's the thing: we, we when you eat <laughs> a fucking blood, raw steak, yeah. what do you, you think you're not getting any True. blood? Yeah, That's stupid. True. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. blood is delicious. It's sweet. It's like bone broth. But I just want to yeah. say for the record, I'm right because we sleep connected to the fucking grounding port, and then we're connected to the earth. I mean, if, okay. if we if we have our druthers, we're gonna be right on the fucking ground. But this is a biohack. You know what? In life, you gotta have a little bit of goddamn fucking fun. Of course, you gotta yeah. go to a UFC fight. Yeah. You gotta fucking take the opportunity when somebody says, "Come on my fucking podcast." Right? This is why we're here. This is why we're here. Was that your first UFC fight? Uh, uh you know, 15 years ago, we went to a UFC fight, uh, and I'm pretty sure it was fucking uh, Hoist Gracie and Matt Hughes. Wow. Oh shit. Yeah, That's yeah. yeah. And my son's name is. You Stryker. went to that. Yeah, I was at the Staples Center. Were you sure? Hey, 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 this was Brian Johnson. Wait, Royce Gracie, like he was like the OG, right? He was oh, fucking yeah. fighting the that original night. goat. That's far. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, uh, and here's the thing: we went. To, I can't believe I'm fucking gonna say this. Uh, we were at, having dinner at California Pizza Kitchen, and I remember uh, we saw Randy Couture in the fucking restaurant, and I couldn't believe it. And and uh, Liver Queen and I went outside and just waited, <laughs> just waited for him to come out. I love it. Because you guys, I'm sure y'all know this, like, some people don't fucking have any etiquette. And they, and they go, they don't even fucking care where you are or what you're doing. And they come, you know, and so, like, we wait out there so fucking politely and couldn't wait to fucking shake his hand. That guy's fucking hand weighs, like, 30 pounds. 30 fucking pounds, this guy's hand. Randy Couture's a legend, man. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, uh, yeah, he's a fucking Are, are you and Dana friends now? Um, you, do, do you know why I went to the UFC for real last night? I don't know. It was to get Dana's liver. Well, he wasn't there. I was there. like, I'm looking for him to get to take his fucking liver. I've been practicing. What do you mean, take his liver? To fucking go. have you ever seen Indiana Jones where he does that thing with the heart? Punches yeah, through his chest, yeah. bro. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck's that actor? What, name? You're gonna steal his <laughs> liver? What's his name? From? What's his oh, name in Indiana Jones? Yes. Oh fuck, you're fucked. Uh, yes, <laughs> the actor. You know who I'm talking about? Um, it, what's his name? Fuck. In Indiana Jones, dude, the there main guy. Ford. Yeah. Why don't uh, you go on that fucking? Yeah. Uh, where they put you on an island, Survivor. You could probably do that. Oh, that would be easy. Why don't you do it? <laughs> Can you I make fire you do that. yourself? 
Oh, absolutely. Easy? It, it's all easy. <laughs> have you hunted like an animal like bare hands or no? <laughs> you know what? I, I haven't done that. You know what we should do but with I, Liver King, bro? You should go fucking no, 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 bare, I hunt, I fucking do bare, bare hand hunting. We should get like me, Steve, like all the boys, Steve, Salim, and we should just go to an island with you and just like survive. For and, what? Like you lead the way. For, days? <laughs> For a week. For whatever. I mean, how long is good? Dude, yeah, like, like a week. Here's the thing. Three days or weekend? What do, what do you think the You got to do five days at least. Whatever, yeah. You think that'd be a good idea? How long could you go without eating? I don't know. Take a guess. Right, you could go. I mean, one like, day, maybe. like literally till I die. Yeah, yeah. I don't one know. Day. A week. No, <laughs> no, no this, fucking this way. You can't go a week. Till you die. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, the, the, this, how long this, you think you could go? Crazy shit. How long? You eat fucking ten I times die. a day, bro. It'd probably be a week until you mentally, die. Mentally, I'd break pretty quick. Mentally, it'd be probably a day and a half until it gets to a point where I'm like, if it came down to it, would you eat a human or not? Oh, I fuck it easy, easy, easy. But but people go an entire year. Said easy. A whole year without eating. A whole year. People think they're going to die if what? they don't eat for a week. People think they're going to die if they skip lunch. What's the longest you've gone without eating? <laughs> Straight up. Seriously, though. We, we, we go five days without eating every single quarter. We, we do it every quarter. So Are you four, calling four cap times no? a year, we, I we call cap, Max. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to respect them. I want to I want to like see the whole layout of the house. I want to see everything <laughs> broken down. I, I want to love for you to I come. You got to come. Because I, yeah, I believe I you. Love it. I truly believe this show. Uh, it's crazy. Yo, Max is the fucking goat. Max the goat. Appreciate it, Rocking with the Raiders. Let's go, baby. This guy's a fucking goat. Let's go, baby. Yeah, yo, chill for a little bit. Sugar Sean. Sugar in the house. Great. I just got to do it. The Pivot Pod with the boys. How'd that was that fun. Thought it went really well. You got the Hung Ched shades I on I stayed or? fucking dialed for like an hour on the pod. Just off like four hours of sleep. I know. I'm not too I'm not too bad. You good? Is it yeah. round two today or nah? Or are we just drinking yo, water? So how, how many days off do you have? <laughs> you coming out with us for a week or what? I'm going to go out today. For a week. It's a pool party. <laughs> well, you should travel with us for a week, I feel like. Uh, I got to fly back home tomorrow. And then uh, you guys might come to Scottsdale, right? Maybe. Maybe. Potentially. Maybe. Potentially. Coming to Scottsdale, Liver King? If I get a fucking invite, I'm going. I'll go if Liver King goes. I'm not missing this to, opportunity. Yes. Do you want to party at Liver King before? Well, what First your, time. What was your 4th of July plans? Um, to fucking be here and to make some fucking fireworks was to go to the fight yeah. and to see your fucking fireworks. I was supposed... <sighs> fireworks were a dud. Fake eye poke. Fucking walk around like... So what? Uh, you think... We were talking about it last night, but what? what's your like kind of analysis of the fight last night? Watching it back... Um, How many times have you watched it? Just the, I just watched it once. I hit him with the right hand right before I hit him with the nut kick. I hit him with the right hand. Right when I hit him with his right hand, he started like kind of like doing something with his eye. So I think that right hand kind of hurt him. And then I hit, hit that. He was wiping his he face, He was like right? hitting his, wiping oh, yeah. his eye after I hit him. Clean, just like a clean shot. And then I threw the teep, landed on his, like right above the belt line. And he like was, said it hurt his nuts, but he started like going out his eye. And it wasn't from a poke. It was from a punch. Um, I think I just broke him mentally. He did not want to be in there with me. He yeah. landed zero shots to the head, zero shots to the body. They claimed he landed like twenty six leg kicks. Were those but leg a lot kicks of those, adding up? I was a lot ask. of those. I checked those. If you threw a leg kick at me and I checked it, it would fuck you up. And I was hurting. What do you mean by that? You checked him, like so, you put your leg up. So I I blocked. So I hurt his, him more than you. Yes, my it's basically shin on shin. A couple of them were his feet landing on my shin. Um, and if you check it correctly, it really hurts him. And I, the first couple he threw, I checked them, and he, I could tell they hurt. I felt his bones like crackle, and I knew it hurt him. So for the judges to score that is like them him landing kicks on me. It's because those judges don't aren't experienced in mixed martial arts. They're not experienced in kickbox. They don't know what a checked kick is. So it's very it's very amateur judging on their part because to say I lost any bit of that fight is ridiculous. How shitty is that of a feeling? Like, what was your mindset like last night after, like, a fight like that? All that training and yeah. like, one the outcome. The same thing. Yeah. What about, does that I mean, like? that was a 12 weeks dialed in. I'm fighting Pedro Munoz July 2nd, like, dialed in. No drinking, just, like, fucking training, preparing for this, this that moment yesterday. So right after it was done, I wanted to fucking cry. I was just like... Because I want to put on shows. I want to put on performances that make people remember where they were at. Like, holy shit, July 2nd when Sean knocked that dude out. That was crazy. Like, that, that, I mean, I guess that was, an, I mean, people remember that too. Because the whole eye poke thing was, like, I'm, he made a video on Instagram closing the wrong eye too. And just, Whoa, it all, no, you for real? That? Is that a fact? I, I'm, I'm almost like, I think we can pull Here, it up. Here's the thing. My, my kids asked me if fighters ever enter into a fight and in the first round, if the other fighter knows that he was beaten and, and wants to get out of there. And, and 
before your fight, I, I said, you know what? Nobody's nobody's going going in there thinking that they're done. Yeah. But that's exactly what fucking happened. I I, I think I mean to, for me to say I I kind of broke him uh, is pretty crazy considering the guys he's fought. Like look at look at the picture. Like supposedly I poked that eye and he's all closing his other one, right? Yeah. Wait, that's the right eye. Yeah. Oh shit. Wow. Yeah, I mean it's just well, you beat the, uh, pop you, that you up hit on, him on that on that side though, pretty hard. I didn't. Yeah, I did. I, I cracked him a good. I, I didn't. I didn't beat his ass. I was going to. But you hit him a few I had, times. I had one and a half rounds left. I was finding my range. Um, I was starting to dial in. That first round was kind of, you know, he fought a lot different than he usually does in that fight. Did you feel like you were a little slower out of the gate? No, he looks more patient I'm than just, you usually are. I, I, it's you know, it depends on. He came out pretty slow too. Yeah, and uh, and at that high of a level, it's like who's going to make the first mistake. You know what I mean? And it, you can't, I don't want to go in there and rush that he cracks me and I'm fighting from behind now. Is that how it works at that high level? Like, I guess the Izzy fight was yeah. kind of like that too, right? Like, I'm, no one was just willing to make the first Izzy's move. Izzy's last few fights, like, he's he's got some good finishes, but once you're at that level, like, you're just not going to risk it no matter what. Even if the tough. fans are booing, like, yeah, it's you're tough. just like, fuck But that. also, it's like, it's scary. You don't want to, I wouldn't want to get hit by Jared Kennedy. I'd rather play it safe. Like, Jared's a bad motherfucker. But even like for the Pedro fight, I was I didn't feel like I was playing it safe. I feel like I was just calculating. I was gonna find his chin. I hit him with a couple good shots. You hit did, him with yeah. a good body, some spinning body kicks. I was I was uh, I was about to start piecing him up. And he, he taunted knew him a little that. bit. A little spin. He yeah, threw a little spin. I, saw the spin. I threw a little that spin was back. Close. That was funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I felt like I, I for me to say I kind of broke him and made it. He looked for a way out. Jared Kandir in the main event got fucking stabbed in the eyeball. And he was like, I'm good. I'm good. I can fight. You guys saw that. Pedro I've was like telling the doctor. The he was like, no. So you I think he's avoiding either. taking the L? Yeah, right? no. I don't know if there was something else going on. I think those checked kicks really fucked up his feet. Yeah. Um, I think that right hand I hit him with where he was kind of like doing that. I think he was broken. Yeah. I, he was hurting. He literally didn't hit me in the face or the body once. <laughs> so in his mind, he's like. I've, I, what, what am I going to do? I'm going to get knocked out. I'm going to be on his highlight reel. I put people on highlight reels. Like, they're memes. Sure. Yeah. And he knew that was about to happen. Steve's, Steve's been roasting him, right? Oh yeah, my Steve. God. He's been going to add him on a story. Oh, Have you, you seen that? Uh, he deleted it? I like yeah. Pedro. What, what, what would you attribute your success to? Because you're expressing <laughs> your highest and most dominant fucking form. Yeah. Right? And, and I know there's a bunch of fucking things you do. Yeah. Right? But, the, but, but this is what, like, how did you become the fucking best? And what you do? I think I've been training for about 11 years. And then like the last five, four or five years, I think I would contribute the me standing out from being good to being great. Meditation, cold plunge, uh, hiring a nutritionist and, and eating a specific diet to my blood. I get my blood tested, my saliva, my shit tested every so often and, and have someone analyze it and say, hey, this is what, what we should be eating. Um, my sleep, I sleep really well. And that's a skill. Um, yeah. So I would say just adding all those little things, even if it's like, okay, this is going to make me 1% better. This will make me 1% better. This will make me 1% yeah. better. This is like a commercial for my nine ancestral tenants. Yeah. Everything that you yeah. just fucking said, you know, <laughs> is, is, so my, my nine ancestral tenants, sleep, eat, move, yep. shield, connect, cold, sun, fight, and bond. And at your level, yeah. the fraction of 1% starts to stack. Yeah. And then this is what you do. I, I believe in it. I think, uh, and I found all these kind of things out because I wanted to be the best fighter in the world. Yeah. And how do I do that? I got to these little things that that can change a fight, can change a career, can change Does it hurt your motivation or not? Is what? Hurt your motivation? That fight? Yeah. Um I'm motivated to be I want to I Like do you guys go fight again? You and Pedro go fight again now? No, cuz no, I just beat fuck him. No. And it's not a big fight. It's like not. it's a I think everyone looks at that fight or most people look at that fight like I was piecing him up. I was gonna, I was getting the better of him. That's a win, at least in my eyes, and I don't really care what other people think. So that's kind of how I feel about that fight. Um, but moving forward, yeah, we'll we'll see see who's next. Talk to UFC soon and and see. Who do you think? Anyone? I don't know, just because the division's so booked right now. It's a crazy like the bandway division is like crazy right now. It's pretty much all booked out. Uh, there's a lot of big fights playing out soon. They have fights in September and December in Vegas, I believe, and then uh, MSG in November. So those are all potential ones. My birthday's in October. So if I could fight in September, it might be kind of fire. Let's get sugar some liver. I ain't fucking eating liver right no, now. No, we, we fucking eat I liver, threw bro. You're with the liver king. We ate the I liver. Know. It would be oh, the greatest goddamn time, fucking should. honor. It we was. ate liver, bro. I will do we, anything. I did it, bro. So did he. It's not good. I've Max did it too. 
I almost puked too. Yeah. I laid in bed last night. And I was spinning. Yeah, and my we stomach pretty hard last night. We had a good night though, bro. I went to bed. At, what time did you go to bed? Uh, I, I never really six. know. I always wake up in the morning and then just check the check See, the last text. I was I dude sent. What? at one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, liver King, when you're sauced, you yeah, fucking, you're you don't remember what time I went. You go to I bed, sent a me- uh, video to Jay Balvin, and I was wearing <laughs> this pink jacket and like telling everybody walking home. I was Jay Balvin and just sent him a did video. He respond? Yeah, he thought it was fucking hilarious. Let's go. Uh, and we linked with fucking uh, Joe Burrow last night too. Joey B, dude. That was fucking fun. I, I sat down at the club. It's kind of hard to talk, but like ha- we had like an actually really good conversation. Wait, you guys sat down and talked? When yeah, was we that? were at the club. Just uh, He came to the table? Yeah. yeah. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, what club? Where were you guys at? You are right here, he bro. Was he's kind of always. Right here? He's kind of fading you a bit. No. He, at this club? He, yeah, yeah. Of okay, course. somebody in my fucking camp Yo, you gotta to get do it. fired. You definitely got to have Oh, some God. some liquid. With it. <laughs> what, the fuck? what a great fucking honor! What a great, <laughs> what a great honor. fucking honor! I'll take a little a bite Bro, of that. Just take it, it down. Even Shug. It's just if you don't do it at all, you're subprimal. Just make and my cock bigger. You subprimal. Yeah. Does it? Do you do cock enhancements size? or not? Just make my does wiener bigger. Does it increase horn size? Oh, it fucking increases everything. Really? Literally, I'll gain an inch or two. No doubt. Okay. Maybe a foot. Maybe some girth. Yeah. Not only will it not fuck up your stomach, but this will put you into momentum. This will put you in the momentum. It'll give you better fucking... Here, here's the thing. You're, you're going to feel the difference. If you don't eat liver, you're going to feel the difference. I'm, and- I'm, I'm pretty fired up. Like Take that. it down, dude. It's easy. Dude. Just swallow it, bro. Plug your nose. There it is. <laughs> bro, just take... You got to eat the whole thing. Just swallow the whole fucking thing. It's so bad. I almost yacked. I was there really. I saw you boys handling it nice. Let me have the rest yeah. of that. If you're not gonna eat that, I want, I want that shit. I want that. <laughs> yeah, get get in there. Well, we were pounding all those fruity shots last night too. Those things were yeah. Fucking those things sucked. Just coming up out of nowhere. That bartender was dope last night though, eh? Yeah, she's she had bad. vibes. Yeah. Whoa. Got a number and shit. Yeah. Did hey, you? just for yeah. the fucking record, he did it. Oh, I'm oh I did it. I'm horny. I mean, I'm talking to Miles. And, and here's hornier the thing, now than I was. You know Miles Teller come through? You look. He's blowing me up. No jokes. You see Miles Teller and Chris Pratt there? Uh, yeah. Me, we were vibing the whole night. You see us together? No. <laughs> it was me, him, and me, Chris, and fucking Miles. Were the really? Fucking, you three? Camera couldn't get off us, bro. It was crazy as fuck. <laughs> we, were, we were like the gang, bro. You're like a star now, right? Yeah. <laughs> you get fired for real? Uh, we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> Why not? Oh, I'm, I'm rocking with questions. Chris and Miles, Well, I'm bro. just curious. <laughs> I'm with fucking because Miles. Because when, when I came out to Miami, you were fucking Steiny assistant. Hey, Steve needs this. Do you do that? You're on top of How everything. How good was I? You were good. I thought I was like, damn, Steiny's doing a good job. A but sure, then, yeah. then you started wearing a couple chains, bro. Once you put on you the you started chains. getting some sixes. <laughs> you started changing it a little bit. Sevens. There were there were a couple of baddies. You sued my girl one night. No. Yeah, he banged in the crib. You know that? No. I, I stole your girl. Dead? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it. I'll tell you how you fucking didn't do happen. It. How was how was biscuit duty last night? Can we talk about it or no? Um. I- I laid down. Yo, I was this guy spinning. went to the club. No biscuit, goes, dude. He goes no too, shirt. Done. He goes underwear and a robe. I wore robes. Oh, I wore robes God, to the club, I got to fucking level up. I mean, yeah. a robe was just the, the vibe last underwear night. Underwear and a robe. Yeah, to you're the club a little overdressed. Ten God chains. Damn but. it. Okay. All right. Hey, <laughs> you should go underwear. A fucking underwear. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know about that. We okay. got the swim party. I mean, the pool party here in a minute. <laughs> hey, but you're talking about picking up sixes and the, sevens. The ring girls yeah, were guy. supposed to come through. What do you too. think about that? Th- this, this is what I think about it. I, I, I want to make hey, this sugar? fucking statement. Uh-huh. Ring girls, Brittany and Ariana, shut up. They're gonna come through. You got them right now. They're supposed to. Why you talking like that? Now. Well, I messaged Brittany a long time ago. Let me call Chris. And nothing Chris happened. To. Who's the baddest ring girl? You think? That's a good question. I don't. I uh, respect I women huge, and don't judge them like that. I was a so. huge Ariana no guy shows. back in the day. Okay, while you guys are talking shit about <laughs> fucking this shit, sorry, Liver Queen's the, the, I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> going, I'm going to fucking impose a, a little bit of wisdom. You attract your complementary opposite, mm. right? This is the truth. The right? fuck, bro? And, and, I'm pulling sixes, and you're gonna. And, well, me and, like and that. this is why. This is why I know <laughs> that you pulling sixes is subprimal because you fucking deserve to pull tens. Thank right? you. And, and and I get this all the time. People ask me, "How do I get a liver queen? How do I get a queen?" You become a fucking king. I have a queen, right? I know you do queen, yeah. because you know why? Because you're a fucking king. Yeah, you're a self made king. Yeah. So I tell people because people are like, "Hey, how how do I do this thing?" And I'm like, "You know what? If you start eating liver, lift heavy shit, mm. right? Start creating real value in yourself, yeah. right? You're gonna attract your complementary opposite. Yeah. If you're a piece of shit, you're gonna attract a piece of shit, right? But if and you gotta so, pull a six and it's yeah. late. <laughs> I mean, no. it's not like I do that every time. No, Why are you picking on blast me. like that? No, I was pointing. It's like, not like every time I, I do was that. Pointing like Steiny does know how to handle a dirty, though. I will give him that. I but I get, I I get Tim, eights in there sometimes. Tim knows how to handle a dirty too. He'll yeah. take one down for the team. 
but hey, Whatever. it is. But yeah, I agree 100 percent with your with what you're saying. If you want a queen, you gotta be a king and treat them right. Treat Get like to a goddamn queen. work. Get to work. Yeah. And how much you want to fucking bet? You don't need to try and go pick up anybody. No. Because you create that value yeah. in yourself, and you're gonna attract your fucking complimentary opposite. Yep. Yep. Yeah, pussy magnet right here, baby. Yeah, you gotta go out. Well, should probably we, well, should probably think, get going. I think we can go out. Huh? Can you come roll with us? I don't know. Well, I mean, why would you even ask? Yeah, I, I would be upset if you didn't come. I'm of inviting course. myself. No, you're yeah, coming, fucking bro. in, bro. The we're party's right there. Go. We're walking from here to there. there. All right, should we go fire out there? Let's go fire. Away. We can't be too hammered so in front of the ring girls, though. We gotta make a good impression, no? You think might be? You think you could pull one? I don't think so. Have you tried? Be honest. I messaged Brittany one time. Nothing got back, but I've never really had a conversation with her. She never opened it. Damn, bro. Then we have no. I have no chance. You might. If he, she's not responding, Ariani's married. So with a kid. Oh, true. <laughs> so true. No, yeah, I don't want those boundaries. Yeah. But let's right. go. Great shit. Let's go. Yeah, that was fucking thank you, bro. fire. That was one of the best. Right? Oh my god. Yo, let's go to an island. Yeah. What does that even mean? Like, let's go to an island. No, like a survivor type shit. Oh, oh, oh one fucking hundred yeah, percent. That was awesome. Amazing. That was a big one. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's party. Let's party. Fuck yeah, of course.